Hi guys, I wanted to talk about the um, state of Zephyria, which is this RPG that we talked about um, probably a year ago. So um, I updated it to use the latest FXGL version, which means most of the boilerplate code is now in the engine side rather than game side, which makes it easier to focus on the game logic. So uh, there are three things, I guess there are two things to talk about in this video and I'll start with the attributes. I don't know if I talked about them um, in the previous video. So there are nine kind of primary attributes that a character in this game, in this RPG is going to have. They are strength, vitality or vitality, dexterity, agility, um, intellect, wisdom, willpower, perception, and luck. And if you hover um, on one of these, it'll tell you which stats they increase. So on the right here, um, you have the 16 stats. Some of them may not be here. And as you increase attributes, stats are going to be increased as well. Now the main thing that I um, quite like about this RPG, or uh, which is part of the game design, is that you're not forced into a particular level leveling up model. So in uh, many RPGs, if you decide to go down the warrior route or a mage route, um, or other types like rogue, I suppose, then typically you're expected to kind of level up those particular attributes that are specific to these types. So warrior would be like strength, vitality, and so on. And mage would be intellect, wisdom, willpower, and whatever these are called um, in their respective games. Now, what I'm proposing to do, and this is not novel, by the way, um, there are some games out there that use similar mechanic, to allow greater flexibility in terms of what attributes they can increase. So imagine a warrior focusing only on um, things like intellect. Although um, he doesn't have to, it is um, completely feasible to kind of focus on intellect and become some sort of, I know, crusader or whatever they're called, and use mainly skills to deliver damage. And similarly, we can have a mage who focuses on strength and strength-based attributes to become some sort of um, battle mage, I suppose. And so he will use mostly um, summoned weapons or things like that to um, focus, to deliver damage. Essentially, the build that you're going to use is going to affect what type of weapon or magic you use to deliver damage, I suppose. I don't know, these are kind of my thoughts on what could be an interesting RPG. Right, so, and yeah, also, unlike some games or some RPG games, each attribute may contribute to a lot more um, than you would expect. So for example, luck may increase your attack. I don't know if it does, I don't remember the formula that I used for it. Oh, it does. So uh, by increasing luck, we're actually increasing to a certain extent our attack and magic attack as well. And possibly things like wisdom that uh, will also affect certain things that you might not really expect, um, like increasing attack or defense or things like that. So each attribute has a lot more things um, to deliver. Actually, if I do this, it will tell me exactly what stats are going to be increased. And the number of plus signs gives us an indication of... Um, I don't actually know if you can see the tooltips. Uh, Right, you don't see the tooltips because for some reason JavaFX renders them in a different window. I don't know. Um, anyway, so in the game um, there are tooltips and if you hover 
over one of these attributes, it will tell you what stats it increases. Right, so that's about attributes, stats, and things that belong to character. Then we have this um, element mechanic, which I uh, borrowed from a game called Ragnarok Online. This is where I first experienced this type of um, element mechanic where one element damages the other more. Like, so you have, say, fire and earth. So imagine you're attacking an earth uh, monster with a fire weapon. Then you're going to deal more damage than if you were attacking that monster with an earth type weapon. And let me spawn some monsters. Each of those monsters has um, a different element. There are five elements in total in this game. Well, for now, we have neutral and the other um, typical four, which are fire, earth, air, and water. And I have five daggers or knives, which have these different elements. So if I use, say, fire, this one's fire, I think, and I attack, this one's neutral, uh, this um, monster has the neutral armor, neutral type, and so I delivered 25 units of damage. And if I attack this guy, I actually critically s struck uh, zero damage which is awesome. So, yeah, if you attack um, a monster that has a particular element with the same element, then you're going to deal zero damage. I don't know if it's a good mechanic, because imagine you can just kind of go into high level um, area, just wear the armor that has the element of monsters in that area, in which case they won't be able to deal any damage to you, which doesn't sound that it could be good for the mechanic. So maybe not zero, but zero twenty-five percent of total damage, something like that. Then we have um, dealing ten damage. I'm assuming this is a different type element, and um, I should have really written down what elements they are. That is very low damage. I'm assuming this is something like water because I'm using fire and that is a lot of damage, which means that is earth. So a monster has one element for both the weapon and the armor. And whereas the player can have different types depending on what he's wearing, this is going to affect the armor element. And depending on what he is equipped with in terms of weapons, these are going to affect his weapon element. That's how the combat mechanic um, currently works. I'm going to um, add some things. Make sure the animations are there because when I update, uh, update it to the latest version of XJL, some things broke, so I um, need to fix those. And. Yeah, I would like to have kind of a level, uh, a map, where there will be different types of enemies spawned. So this will make a nice demo for me to kind of play with. Also, if you're interested in this game, or if you're not a programmer, but would like to contribute to the game anyway, then do you talk to me. Send me an email or contact me um, through YouTube's comments page, although I don't read it them um, as frequently. And we can figure out um, something together, which would be really cool, because I would really like to make this into a playable demo, but I don't have much time to work on it. Okay, thanks for watching this video.